Hello and welcome to another episode of National Pastime 3 Baseball. This is Eric uh, from High Ground Gaming. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today we will be featuring not only a game between the 2016 Red Sox and Blue Jays, but also too a couple of new features. Um, the creator of the game, Cyrus, um, has notified me that he is he added a couple of updates to the game. Um, he sent me the actual uh, version 1.0.0.3a update. Uh, it's n he said it's not a uh, um, a new version of the game. It's just an update. Uh, but anyway, he sent me a couple of updates, and um, I'm going to showcase them today. I spent a couple of games trying them out, and um, just suggestions that he was given, and um, they're really, uh, I don't know, they're really good uh, updates to the game, I think. Uh, they're really useful. Um, one of the updates, which, um, you know, I know a couple of people I've been asking for, at least myself, and uh, at least one other user, um, I believe it was King Ichibu, in an older video that he had, um, and there might be others, um, for, a t for a button on the... Um, umpire fielding when you uh, go coaches fielding I should say coaches fielding um, chart where uh, when a runner gets on base to restrict them from um, for a slow runner from taking too many bases or you know getting thrown out from taking too many bases or uh, tagging up when or stealing when they you know you don't really want them to um, but anyway there's a nice little feature in that too he added a, 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 bu a click button to that that will enable all the restrictions with just one click, and you can take them off with one click, which was there before, but the one where you add, all, add them all with one click uh, is a new button there, and that's you know proved to be useful. But I think an even bigger uh, feature is the, uh, if you go, when you're making a uh, pitching change, um, when you go into the relief pitchers uh, window there, the, he's added a feature where he shows you the next four batters and what side of the plate they bat from, which I think is very helpful in um, determining, you know, a relief pitcher um, to bring what who to bring in, you know, because you're always wondering who who to bring in, you know, based upon you know what type of matchups you have. So that I think is uh, that to me that's an even bigger feature that's uh, that adds to the game there. So anyway. Uh, Without further ado, I'll get started and I'll showcase those features when they do come up. So, here we go. So, Red Sox will be visiting the Toronto Blue Jays. Um, Marcus Stroman will be on the mound for Toronto. He's uh, made one start. He's 1-0. He's, he's pitched eight innings with seven hits allowed, seven strikeouts, four walks. Uh, ERA of 1.13. And opponents are hitting 233 against him. For the Red Sox, uh, against Stroman, will be batting first, Mookie Betts, and playing right field. Batting second, Dustin Pejoria, second base. Batting third, Xander Bogarts, playing shortstop. Batting fourth, the DH, David Ortiz. Batting fifth, first baseman, Hanley Ramirez. Batting sixth, third, playing third base, Travis Shaw. Batting seventh, the left fielder, Brock Colt. Batting 8th and catching, Ryan Hannigan. And playing center field and batting ninth, Jackie Bradley Jr. And on the mound for the Red Sox will be Joe Kelly. So, all right, let's get started. So, Mookie Betts is uh, hitting just 100 so far. But that one hit uh, is a home run with three RBIs. So, he fouls one off. So the count is 0-1 on bets. And he pops out to Donaldson for the first out. So next up will be Dustin Bajoy. He's hitting 222 with no homers and no RBIs. And he grounds out to second for the second out. So next up will be Xander Bogarts. He's hitting he's off to a fast start. He's hitting 375. With no homers and an RBI. And it looks like an error. It's going to be an error on Stroman here. 
and he does not get a jump. So we have a runner on first with two down for Big Poppy David Ortiz. He's off to a good start with a 429 average. Still looking for his first home run and has one RBI. And he fouls out to the catcher to retire the side. So the Red Sox do not score in the top of the first. So as we said earlier, Joe Kelly, who's a C-grade pitcher, will be pitching for the Red Sox. Um, he'll be facing a Toronto lineup of Pilar. Kevin Pilar batting first and playing center field. Yep, center field. The third baseman, Josh Donaldson, batting second. The left, right fielder, Jose Bautista, batting third. Batting cleanup, designated hitter, Edwin Encarnacion. Oh, I'm sorry, he's playing first base today. Actually, Josh Donaldson is the DH today. So Encarnacion is playing first base. Batting fifth, with the shortstop, Troy Tulewiski. Batting sixth and playing left field will be Michael Saunders. Catching and batting seventh, Russell Martin. Batting eighth and playing third base, Ryan Goins. And batting ninth and playing third base. Uh, Goins is second base, actually. Sorry. And batting ninth will be Darwin Barney and playing third base. So, all right, Kevin Plyer comes up first. He's hitting 353 with no homers and four RBIs. And he flies out to left for the first out. Josh Donaldson up now. He's off to a good start. He's hitting 444, a couple of homers, and eight RBIs. So he grounds out to the uh, first baseman, pitcher covers, two retires, we make the second out of the inning. Next up will be Jose Bautista, still looking for his first home run, he, though he is hitting well, he's hitting 421 with seven RBIs. And he walks, and he just misses, just does not get the jump, not quite. So Toronto comes into the game with a 3-1 record. And the Red Sox have just played two games so far. They're 1-1. One one. So as you can see, if uh, Kelly would have had a double Z or, or a triple Z, there would have been two balls um, instead of the walk. But he does not have any of those letters, so it's a uh, base on balls. All right, so two down and runner on first for Edwin Encarnacion. He's also off to a fast start. Actually, all Toronto's hitters so far, at least the two, three, and four hitters, all have at least seven RBIs. So I think they have 24 RBIs between the two, three, and four hitters. So they're scoring some runs. I think in real life, they, they last year they started off pretty slow, but they're not in this in this replay. So Edwin Canarsione is hitting 368 with a couple of homers and nine RBIs. But this time he strikes out to retire the side. So Toronto does not score. And we head to the top of the second. The Red Sox will have Hanley Ramirez, Travis Shaw, and Brock Holt. Up against Stroman, who is a C-grade pitcher. Ramirez hitting 500 with a couple RBIs. Grounds out to short. Over to Encarnacion. One down. So Travis Shaw up now. Hitting 222 in nine plate appearances. No homers and no RBIs. And he flies out the center for the second out. Alright, next up will be Brock Holt. In the real game, he actually hit a grand slam. But so far, he's uh, hitless in eight plate appearances. And he gets his first hit of the season. And you cannot get the jump. All right, so no, we're not going to show it yet. So we'll wait till we get a slower run there. Hannigan's up now. 
making his first plate appearance, and he strikes out to retire the side. So he heads to the top of the third, I mean bottom of the second, no score. Blue Jays will have Tola Whiskey, Sanders, and Martin. And if anybody gets on, Goins. Right, Jawiski grounds out to the first. Kelly covers. One down. Next up, Michael Saunders. He's after a good start. 462 with a homer and four RBIs. And he strikes him out. So two up and two down for Toronto here in the second. Russell Martin up now. And he pops out to Pejoria to retire the side. Still no score headed into the top of the third. Alright, the number nine hitter Bradley will be up, followed by Betts and Pedroia. Bradley is hitting 167. With no homers and no RBIs. And he pops out to short for one down. Bets bets up now, 0 for 1. And make that 0 for 2. Grounds out to the pitcher. Pajoria up now. 0 for 1. And so he's going to get a walk here. And it looks like he's going to get a steal too. So Pajoria gets a steal. So the Red Sox have a, in business with a runner in scoring position with two down. Xander Bogarts. And he pops out the short to a whiskey. And that retires the side. So the Red Sox had a chance there, opportunity there with two down, but could not come in. Could not cash in. Goins will be up now, followed by Barney and Pilar. Goins is hitting just 200. With no other, no home runs and no RBIs. Many strikes out. So Kelly gets him swinging. Barney up now. He's hitting 400 and five plate appearances with two runs batted in. And he gets himself a single. All right, next up will be Kevin Pillar with a runner on first and one out. And he flies out to Jackie Bradley for the second out of the inning. All right, Josh Charles in the DH up now. 0 for 1. And he flies out to... Jackie Bradley also to retire the side. So no score after three full. Let's see if Big Poppy can hit his first home run of the season here. Instead he flies out to center. And Pilar makes the catch for the first out. Ramirez up now. 0 for 1. Grounds out to second. First two batters are retired here in the in the fourth. Shaw up now, and he pops out to Goins for the th to retire the side. All right, so we head to the bottom of the fourth, turning into a pitcher's duel. The real life game was anything but a t pitcher's duel. All right, Blue Jays will have Bautista and Canacion and Tulowitzki up now against Kelly. And he gets Bautista to ground out to short. So, and Canacion up now, or for one. Each team has just one hit so far. And he flies out to Holt for the second out. Two lows up now. 
also over one. And he gets a single. So the Blue Jays get their second hit here. All right, now Tulowitzki here is a slow runner. So here's the new button right here. This check all restrictions right here was added. Um, so when you hit it, it's going to fill in this one and this one. And well, this, since there's two out, this doesn't matter, but it would fill that in too. So if you click on this, see it fills in everything right here. So that's a nice little feature there. You can still remove them all with this button, but with this one, I'll add all the, all the, uh, check marks in. So it makes it nice and quick and easy. So a nice feature added by Cyrus. So that's, all right. So as you can see, he's restricted now. So he won't be going, thrown out trying to go first to third or trying to go home on a double. Okay. So Michael Saunders will come up now over one with a run run first and two down. And Pedroia flips over to Bogarts. And that'll do it for the whites, for the uh, Blue Jays here in the bottom of the fourth. All right, the Red Sox will have Holtz, Hannigan, and Bradley up. The bottom of the order to face Stroman. Stroman's ERA is down to 0 0.75. And the batters are hitting just 182 against him now. And Holt has himself a leadoff single here. So Hannah get up now. Hmm. Let's see here. I think we might have Hannah get bunt here. I'm gonna have Hannah get bunt. I think runs are going to be out of premium. And he sacrifices, and Holt moves up to second. And can I see an field it and throw over to uh, Goins? And so we have runners. Red Sox have running and scoring position with one down now for Jackie Bradley Jr. He's 0 for 1. And he strikes out. So two down now, so it's up to Betts. Currently 0 for 2. And he grounds out the first to retire the side. So the Red Sox had a one out man in scoring position and could not score. So we'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Still no score. All right, so check here on Kelly, whose grade just got reduced to a D here. Let's see. Now we'll let him see if he can get through five here. But there is some action in the bullpen, though. Matt Barnes is warming up now for the Red Sox. So Russell Martin will be up first here. Lead it off here for Toronto in the bottom of the fifth. And he walks. Oof. So lead off walk here. Ryan Goins coming up now. And Kelly gets him. So one out and one one on and one out now for the for Darwin Barney. He has one of Toronto's two hits on the day. And make that two out of three. All right, so first and second, one, one out here. <sighs> Kevin Pilar up now. Red Sox are going to play in double play deaf here. 
Palar is up now, 0 for 2. And he flies out to Holt. And the runners return back to their bases. So two down now for Josh, Donald, Josh Donaldson. And he walks him to load the bases. Oh, boy. <laughs> Jose Batista up now. And we're going to see if Kelly can get out of this inning. We'll get, this will be definitely be his last batter either way. But we're going to try it with two down here. Hope we can get Batista. And he does. Grounds out to Pedroia, flips it over to Bogarts, and he gets out of the bases loaded jam there. So Toronto had a great, good opportunity there, but could not score. So we head to the top of the six, still scoreless. I might not get to show that other feature if the pitchers keep doing this. Well, actually, I will, because Joe Kelly's at the pretty close to the end there. He's already gone down to a grade D, so we're definitely going to remove him next. He's, we'll leave him. Uh, Hopefully the Red Sox can get him the lead here in the bottom, at the top of the sixth. Give him a chance for a win. So Marcus Stroman will come up to the, go up to, I mean, uh, yeah, we'll face off against uh, Pajoroya, Bogarts, and Ortiz here. So the Red Sox looking for their first run here. And nope, Pajoroya cannot do it. He flies out to... Bautista for the first out. Bogart's up now. 0 for 2. And he pops out to Donaldson for the second out. So a big poppy here. Currently 0 for 2 on the day. And he grounds out to short. And Red Sox go 1, 2, 3 in the top of the sixth. <sighs> Let's see here. Uh, I'll give... I think we might give uh, Joe Kelly at least another batter here. Barnes is still loosening up in the pen there. He's looking in. Looks like he's ready. And he flies out to Holt for one down. Tulitsky up now. And he strikes him out. Two up and two down here for Michael Saunders. And he strikes out Saunders too. So two strikeouts for Kelly in the inning. So after the last inning was kind of shaky, this inning, the Blue Jays go one, two, three. So Hanley Ramirez is up now. 0 for 2. Stroman is now a D grade pitcher. I just want to double check something. I've been playing so many different games. I want to make sure. I think I manage both teams here, but I can't remember. Uh. Well, there's only one way to tell, for sure. Let's try to go to the pen here. Yeah, I think I know, actually. I think I do re manage both teams. Alrighty here. So, so used to the inside pitch where you manage both teams. So, looks like we're going to bring in Chavez here or Storm. Let's see. Let's check each one of them. So, I'll show you the new feature here regardless. Uh, so, go into the... Uh, Replace a player from the lineup here. And now you see right here, this is a new feature right here. The next four batters are shown and what side of the plate they bat from. So that's a new feature that was just added um, today. Well, I just got the uh, update today. Um, you can check out the National Pastime 3 uh, web page. I'm not sure if it's on there yet. Um, I'll have to check and like let you know. Actually, let me just check really quick. I'll be right back.
Did not see anything yet, but keep checking back. Um, he might have emailed you uh, all the... Cyrus might have emailed all the purchasers who own the game now anyway. Um, with the update, I'm not sure, but I'll keep you posted on that if I, find, if I hear, hear anything about it. Um, so... Let's see. So anyway, so yeah, so the next four batters here shows that. That's, that's one of the two new features that in the... Um, the check click box in the uh, the coach's box there for the runners. So th this is a nice one too. So and as I showcased last time, this isn't a new feature, but it's one that was new to me. Uh, I didn't know it was in the game, but Cyrus pointed it out to me. Um, let's see, let me get back to the. All right, so I think we were gonna look at putting in a relief pitcher here. So Chavez and Storin. So, so it looks like we got a righty, lefty, lefty, righty. So let's check and see what Chavez and Storin is. So Chavez is not on the roster. Storin is not either. Hmm. Let's see, Brett Cecil. Yeah, Brett Cecil is. All right, so Brett Cecil throws a lefty. Hmm. I'm more worried right now against Hanley. He's the righty. He's the power threat. So let's check Gavin Floyd here. Gavin Floyd is a righty here. So I think we're going to bring in Gavin Floyd here. Double click on him. So we'll see how what Ramirez does, and then maybe we'll bring in Cecil. We'll check and see how uh, what happens with Ramirez. Like again, Floyd's an A pitcher, A grade. So Hanley Ramirez comes up, 0 for 2 on the day. Still looking for his first home run also. And he pops out to short. Gavin's a B there. I think we're going to worry about Travis Shaw. I think we're going to keep Floyd in there. Ooh. <laughs> this could be a big one. 52. And look, he's going to have himself just a single. Uh, the Red Sox are one out base runner on first here. And Brock Holtz coming up now. And I had righty and then lefty. Hmm. Let's see. I think we're going to bring in Cecil now. Yeah, the face Holt. So Cecil is going to come. Now we'll leave Floyd in. We'll leave Floyd in. And it's a fielder's choice. Runner on first out at second. Batter safe at first. Okay. And fault. See if. No. Cannot get the jump. All right. So Red Sox have a runner on first now with two down. And Ryan Hannigan in the righty. I think we're going to bring a. Let's see who we have on the bench here to catch. Leon. I think we're going to bring in Leon here. I'm going to bring in Leon to pinch hit. His hand against. Uh... Nah, we're not going to. We'll leave Hannigan in. I don't think the Red Sox would have. Would have. Uh, Pinch hit for him. All right, so let's see here. So Hannigan strikes out. 
Oh, well. So we head to the bottom of the seventh, still no score. And as we mentioned before, Joe Kelly will be hitting the showers after a fine outing. Seven scoreless innings, allowing only three hits. And I think we're going to bring in, well, Tazawa, yeah. Tazawa is more of an eighth inning guy. Or Yuihara. Actually, Yuihara is more of an eighth inning guy. So we're going to bring in Koji Yuihara. And this is what I didn't show you, even though it was something I just found out. It was this one. It was the uh, past appearances. He hasn't pitched to the fifth. And today is currently the eighth. So it's been three days since he's pitched. He just pitched the one inning there. And these are stats for the season so far. So, and he'll be placing a righty, lefty, righty, righty. So, okay, so Koji will be coming in. He's, you can see he's got good strikeouts here. So, he's an A pitcher, at least. And he's got three, uh, three X's for strikeouts, so that's very good. So, all right, so he'll be facing Russell Martin, Goins, and Barney, the bottom of the order. Here in the bottom of the seventh. Actually, uh, that was my bad. Excuse me, I probably should have brought in Tazawa. But, because it, I kept forgetting this zero here I keep seeing is yellow. So, <laughs> I'm used to seeing a blank here. Uh, if this is filled in, then I'm thinking it's the top of the eighth. But, it's a different color. So, I just got to get used to that in this game. And no worries, it's not a big deal. I can just bring it into Zyra in the 8th. Just reverse the order. Alright, so it's down to a B. So, Martin flies out to, to right. One down. To Betts. Alright, going's up now. Oh, it's an error on Bogarts. Does not get the jump. So Goins is slow here. And what does Goins play here? He plays second. Let's see who else we have at second base that can come in. Devin Travis. Hmm. He's average. So I think we're going to bring in a fast runner here, and we're going to bring in, then we'll bring in Devin Travis. To, yeah, he hasn't played yet. So we'll bring in a fast runner. I think we'll bring in Andy Burns here. Uh, he's only played 10 games, so let's see if we get another one. Let's see. There we go. Carrera, he's played 110 games. So we're going to bring in Carrera to pinch run. And we'll see if he gets the jump here. And he gets gunned down. Gunned down by Hannigan. So good thing we didn't take Hannigan out. So that's Koji. So... Bogart's error is taken care of by Hannigan. So, all right. So, Yui Hara up now with the bound with the bases empty. And Barney's still up at the plate. Six three. That probably wouldn't have been a double play there anyway. All right. So, let's see. So, we're going to need a... Yeah, I can't put Carrera in there. Whoops. Yes. So we're going to bring in, who was it? Travis? Yes. Travis is going to come in. Change the player. Second base here. All 
Oops. All right, so Devin Travis is now in at second base. Good. All right, so Gavin Floyd is in there for the... How much has he pitched? He's pitched an inning. I think we're going to bring in Brett Cecil to face Jackie Bradley, lefty there. Yeah, we're going to bring in Brett Cecil. I think we are anyway. Let's check him out. Yeah, it's been a few days. It's the 8th now, so he's had a couple of days of rest. I just want to see how many he's pitched. Yeah, and he's pitched 54 games, so. Yeah, we can bring him in. He did pitch in this game. And we have a lefty, righty, righty, righty. So, this may be his only batter, but we'll have to take it batter by batter. Let we'll be a genie warming up there, just in case. So be a genie will be warming up. He hasn't pitched yet, so Cecil will come in, and we'll see what he does with Bradley. Oops, I didn't take him out. So again, that's a very nice feature, being able to see the next batters coming up. All right, so let's see here. So Brett Cecil will face Jackie Bradley, who's 0 for 2 in the day. Oh. <laughs> let's see what happens here. This could be a big play for the Red Sox. 61. Uh, looks like he's going to have himself a double. He had a couple of home run possibilities. 66. 11, 22, 33. Again, like in APA, the uh, the double numbers here are, are usually a, usually good. They're all... Well, that isn't always a hit, but... But a lot of times they're, uh, they're good results, like this one, and that one, and this one, and that one, so... All right, so let's see here. So 61 gives him a double. Oh, possible increase to a home run, though. 11 to 61. We got a good shot here. But then we got to beat that one, too. That's going to be tough. So this one. That one we beat. That was interesting, I thought. And now the 11 to 26 here. Here we go. No, 65, not even close. So good thing we didn't roll the 65 on that one because then, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so it's a double check here and we do not meet the check. So instead we have a leadoff double. So the Red Sox are in business. And that's going to be only, the only batter Cecil is going to face. We want to have a righty-righty matchup here. So Cecil cannot do what he came in to do. And be a genie is going to come in now. Here in the top of the eighth, in a scoreless game here. See if we can keep it scoreless. All right, bets 0 for 3. 40. And he bounces it in front of the plate. That gets the job done, though, advances the runner to third. So, Red Sox have a runner at third with one down, less than two out. So, Pedroia has a possibility of an RBI here with a sacrifice fly. Ideally, we'd like another base hit, so keep the inning going, but we'll take it. We'll take what we can get here. So, Pedroia 0 for 2. Piagenic sets and delivers. And field this choice. Runner on third is out at home. And the batter is safe at first. Ouch. Worst of all. Uh, not a good result for the Red Sox. 
So Pajoria cannot get the job done, and Bradley gets thrown out. At, I mean, the runner get, Bradley gets thrown out at home, trying to score the first run. <sighs> so Bogart's up now, two, and this time with two down now, and runner on first. Oh, this could be good, and it is good, a double. So Bogarts comes up with a clutch two-out double after the runner just got a race at home, and Pajoria comes all the way around from first to score. Who says Smurfs can't run? <laughs> all right, so the Red Sox score the first run of the game here in the top of the eighth. And Big Poppy's up now with Xander on second. Ken... Red Sox would love to add to the lead here. But he cannot. He strikes out. So Red Sox scratch across one. And we head to the bottom of the eighth. One to nothing. I think we're going to keep in Koji here a little bit longer here. Kimbrell's loosening up in the bullpen. And Pilar flies out to Betts for the first out. Next up will be Josh Donaldson. 0 for 2 in the day. Ooh. And he singles. And they're going to play it safe. But there's no chance of him getting thrown out. Because that's the, the end means there's no chance. So he does have a slight chance of getting the jump. So we're going we're gonna to try it here. Oops. No, does not get the jump. Okay. All right. Yuihara is down to a C here. <sighs> the Red Sox did quite often bring in Kimball to try to get more than three outs for the save, but who do we have up now? Oh, Bautista. I think we got a Koji here. Koji's down to a C. See, if I hadn't messed this up, I would have Tazara would have pitched the last inning, but who knows if Tazara would have got through that last inning. Sometime he can be shaky. So we're going to bring in Kimbrell, see if we can get a five-out save here. And I see if we can get a nice double play ball to get him out here with only a couple pitches. Here comes Kimbrell. Yeah, he hasn't pitched since the fifth, so... He's still looking for his first save, so be a five out save. We're gonna bring him in. It's okay, Crimble, the A and C rating. It's about the best you can get. Does allow a lot of sh does strike out a lot of guys, but also is prone to the walk. And not likely to hit into a double play, so We'll take a strike, a couple of strikeouts. That would be nice, too. <laughs> so, all right. Jose Bart It's going to be tough, though. Jose Bartista, and then Encarnacion and Tulowitzki. So, it's not going to be easy. But this could be the ball game here in the eighth. So, sometimes it's you have to bring in your clothes a little bit early. And he strikes out Bartista for the first out. And the second out. His first out. So two outs now with a runner on first for Encarnacion, who with one swing of the back could put Toronto ahead. Kimball looks in for the sign, winds up in the pitch. And he bounces out to Bogarts, who flips over to Bajoria to retire the side. So we head to the top of the ninth, the Red Sox holding on to a slim one nothing lead. So Kimbrell comes in early and gets gets the two big outs there. Alright, Biagini's going to come in against... Oh boy. I think the Blue Jays are going to come in and bring in their closer. I don't think yeah, Biagini wasn't the closer. Let's see... So Toronto is going to come in and bring in. So like, no, I don't think he he wasn't the closer. I know Gorilla was a closer a little bit for Toronto. I mean for the Braves, but 
don't think no Asuna Asuna is a, yeah, he's the closer yeah Roberto Asuna so Toronto is going to bring in their closer here in the ninth to try to keep the game at one run the lead at the deficit at one run so Asuna is going to come in after warming up righty lefty lefty righty probably be bringing in a pinch hitter possibly for Shaw here no, he's a, I mean, not for Shaw, but for uh, Hannigan if we get to him. Well, let's hope we can get to him. If you're a Red Sox fan. <laughs> and if you're not, then, well, you're hoping for a 1 2 3. Alright, so as soon as an A pitcher here, he'll be facing Ramirez first. And he strikes him out. Now he's, now he's a B pitcher. So Travis Sharp now, one for three. And he grounds out to short. So two up and two down for the Red Sox. Brock Colt up now, having a good day, two for three. Let the Red Sox go one, two, three in the ninth. So we'll head to the bottom of the ninth. And Toronto will send up Tulowitzki, Sanders, and Martin. So Kimball looks in for the sign. He has the wind up and the pitch. And he walks him. This is the one thing that Kimball can do. <laughs> he can walk a batter or two. Alright, so uh, Tewitzki walks, and Toronto's definitely gonna go to the oops. Definitely gonna go to the bench here and bring in a pinch runner because Tewitzki cannot run. Looks like we're gonna bring in We're going to bring in Junior Lake here, probably. Yeah. Alright, so Junior Lake's going to come in now and pinch run. For Tulowitzki. You know what, though? Might as well try to... He does not get thrown out, so... The worst happens is he doesn't get a jump. Oops. Nope. So Junior Lake cannot get a jump off of off of Hannigan and Kimbrough. So Michael Saunders will come up now. I think he's gonna bunt. I don't see a bunt rating. So if uh, if you're watching um, Cyrus, if you watch this video, I don't know if you, there's a way to get the bunt rating in. Um, I'm not sure exactly how it works uh, in the MP3 game, but uh, that might be a good feature to have is like a bunt rating if there is if there is one. If not, well, then I guess we can't. <laughs> or if I'm missing it somewhere, please point it out to me. But I think we're going to have Saunders up to bunt here. See if you get a runner in scoring position. So he will bunt. Yeah, I don't see anything here. He struck out twice today, so I think bunting would be a good thing for him. Alrighty, so I don't know if you heard that, but there's a screensaver on my other computer. That's a uh, like a lightning thunderstorm. So I don't know if you heard that. There's no thunderstorm going on here. It's way too cold for there to be a thunderstorm. It's in the single digits tonight. So here in here in uh, Massachusetts, cold weekend here in March. So all right. So we are going to.
So the result, okay, here's the result. Field this choice runner on first out at second. Oh, so it's a bad bunt. And we are not going to try to. So Saunders does not get the job done. And the Red Sox are able to get the lead runner there. Kimbrell is able to fields it and throws it over to Bogarts. So one down now. Let's see what Saunders' rating is. I'm going to bring in another fast runner here. I think we had another one on the bench here. Yeah, I'll have to bring in this guy here. Trying to give Toronto the best chance. So Russell Martin will be up now. 0 for 2. And he walks. <sighs> so first and second. The winning run is now on first for Devin Travis. Came into play second base. So we got to keep him in because we don't have any other second baseman in. He's actually not bad. My base percentage is 332, slugging 454, so we're going to leave him in to hit. Kimber looks in for the sign, winds up in the pitch. 30. And he flies out to Holt, so that's two down now. So it's up to Drew Barney here. Two for three in the day, having a fine day. And Darren Barney. So, all right, here we go. Kimball gets the sign, winds up in the pitch. And he strikes him out. And the Red Sox are victorious. What a great pitching duel that was. Definitely was nowhere near the actual game, real game score, which was 8-7 to seven Red Sox. <laughs> but this instead, this is, proves to be a pitcher's duel. Whew, what a nail-biter that one was. Only nine hits total in the game. Each team had an error. The Blue Jays left nine men on base, and the Red Sox left six. So each team definitely had its share of, share of chances, but could not get the big hit until the eighth inning. When uh, Xander Bogarts gets a key two-out double after the first runner got... Bradley got thrown out at home. Majoria gets goes reaches first on the field this choice, and then Bogarts gets a double, and Majoria motors all the way around to score the only run of the game. Let's look at the box score here. Yeah, like I said, the pitching was great on both sides. Both pitchers pitched six innings. Stroman just two hits. Kelly with three. Kelly was a little wild. He'd allow three walks, but struck out six. Only walking two strikeouts for Stroman. So starting the pitching all around was very good, very good. Koji uh, Irihara gets the win. He's one and zero, and Brett Cecil get the loss. Zero and two. So, yep, only one RBI on the day. That was Xander Bogarts. Knocking in Pedroia here. Pedroia didn't even get a hit on the day, and he scored the winning run. So, definitely a great pitching, pitching duel today. So, we'll do the final tallying of the scoring here. Again, I'm doing a... Uh, 2016 season replay on the Delphi forums under Skeetersoft under games uh, under replays on Skeetersoft 2016 
NP and then three in Roman numerals or three in letters. Uh, Roman numerals, yeah. So NP III 2016 season replay or just replay. Um, so check it out. I've been posting every game from the season there, so that's why I I save it like that I can do here. So I'll put the box score here. I'll put the date of the game so it keeps it in all in you know numerical chronological order there. And this was the eighth still. Friday, April 8th. And then I usually put a little highlight thing and so I do a little write up on each of the games. And the highlights is gonna be all pitching in this one. So I'll put Boston. And yeah, just the starters, I think I'm going to put in here. Usually I'll put at least one batter, but there really wasn't any any offense to speak of. So we'll just highlights will be the pitchers. Nice that at least neither one of the starters got the loss, so they both pitched well, so they didn't deserve so. So Joe Kelly's got an ERA of zero. I think that was his first start anyway. And Strowman's ERA is 0. 0.64. So that's it there. So that'll save. And now we'll add the, let's see here. I think we're going to, I think there is a hold in here. So eighth, bottom of the eighth. I think we're going to give, now Yui Harry gets the win, so he won't get a hold. Kimball will get the save though, so we'll oops, put a save in here. I forget it's not full, not full screen. And, yeah, that was and we thing in here, so nobody else here, they don't get anything down here. So it's just a save, because Koji got the win. All right. Yes, I do. So there you go, so there's the save added in there. And the reason they, you, they have you put it in manually is because the rules change over the, uh, depending upon what era you're in and everything. Um, qualifications and for holds and saves. So anyway, so that's it. So there's a couple new features like I showed you with the uh, adding the uh, check click box for the um, base running for when you have slow base runners or if you just want to restrict runners in general. Um, so that's a nice little feature. And then uh, the other one we when you go to your bullpen to bring in another pitcher they'll show the next four batters. So that's, that's uh, I really, like I said, I really like that one. And uh, so yeah, so those are some new features that Cyrus added, I believe, like I said, I believe today. And uh, so if you haven't checked out the game, check out MP3, uh, National Pastime 3. The website is, let me just double check it here. Yeah, it's just www.npiii.com. Or if you look up National Pastime 3, it'll come up with this too. And there's a free demo you can try out the game, fully functioning demo. And uh, I said lots of seasons available. All the way back until 1894 here, it looks like. 
and up until the current 2016 season, as well as some other uh, Pacific Coast League seasons available, 1906, 1915, 25, 46, and 56. Um, Fast L player set, which is like a franchise all-star teams with over 900 players based on their lifetime sims. Includes all-time Japanese leagues, greats, and Negro league greats. Uh, Dynasty sets available, vol 10 volumes of those, um, which feature... Looks like uh, each Dynasty set features eight um, championship teams there. Just double check here. Yeah, uh, volume 6 has a bonus team, so they have nine. And then... So it is volume 10 has a bonus set too. They have nine. But yeah, some great, you can play some great World Series champions of the past. They're all World Series champions. Yeah, they look to be. Oh, not all of them are. They have the 1978 Red Sox. So definitely some great teams. If they're not world champions that year, they're, they're definitely a... Uh, Finished well. Yeah, yeah, the 1946 Red Sox too. So, um, but yeah, some great, some great sets available too. Um, so check it out, npiii or m. dot com, or if you just type in National Pastime Three, I'm sure you'll find them. But uh, it's a great feature. There's some great videos on the uh, on the website too, um, showing you all the different features. So. And some, uh, I think there's a few on YouTube, too, that he does. So anyway, that's it. Thank you for joining me. This has been Eric from High Ground Gaming. And we'll see you in the next video. Good night, and God bless.